So today we are going to talk of brucellosis. It is a type of a zoonotic disease that is it spreads from animals to humans. There are some other names for brucellosis and these are it is also known as underland fever, it is also known as Malta fever or the Mediterranean fever. See brucellosis is caused by a gram negative rod shaped non motile non sporing and intracellular cocobacilli of the genus brucella. There is a microorganism of the genus brucella. There are basically four species which infect man. Brucella, brucella, militanins, brucella abortus. Then we have the brucella swiss and the brucella canis. So these are basically the four species which infect man. Brucella militanins is the most virulent and invasive species. This one is the most invasive species. The man, reserv uh, man reservoirs of human infection are cattle, sheep, goat, swines, buffaloes, horses and dogs. In animals, the disease can cause abortion, premature expulsion of the fetus or death. Now, what are the modes of transmission of this disease? What are the modes of transmission of this disease? Let me tell you very briefly, point-wise, that it can occur by contact infection. Most commonly, infections occur by direct contact with infected tissues, direct contact with infected tissues, blood, urine, vaginal discharge, aborted fetuses, and especially placenta. Infection takes place through abraded skin, through abraded skin, mucosa, or conjunctiva. This type of spread is largely occupational and occurs in persons which, in, uh, which are involved in handling livestock and slaughterhouse workers. So this is all about this contact infection. Second type of uh, mode of transmission is foodborne infection. Foodborne infection, infection may take place indirectly by the ingestion of raw milk. By the ingestion of a raw milk, by the ingestion of raw milk or dairy products from infected animals. Fresh raw vegetables can also carry infection if grown on so soil containing manure from infected farms. Third is the airborne infection and this is seen in the environment of a culture which, which may be heavily infected. Few people living in such an environment can escape inhalation of infected dust or aerosols. Brucella may be inhaled in aerosol form in slaughterhouse and laboratory so these infections are notified as occupational. So these are the basically the three modes of infection, uh, transmission sorry, contact, trans uh, contact infection, foodborne infection and airborne infection. And then control of brucellosis. See, uh, if you talk of first place, I will talk of the clinical features first. Like, clinical features of this disease. Brucellosis infection in man can vary from an acute febrile uh, disease to a chronic low-grade, ill-defined disease. Acute phase. See, the acute phase is characterized by a sudden onset of illness with swinging pyrexia. With swinging pyrexia up to 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. Swinging pyrexia up to 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. Then there are arthralgias. That means there are joint, joint pains. Involving larger joints such as hip, knee, shoulder and ankle. Then there is low back pain. These are very vague symptoms that the patient usually presents with in this disease. Then there is headache, there is insomnia, there is hepatomegaly, there is mild spinomegaly, leukopenia, leukopenia. The lymphocytosis is the most striking feature of clinical symptoms, the severity of the illness and the absence of clinical signs. The acute phase subsides within 2 to 3 weeks. The acute phase subsides within this, within this time. So if the patient is treated with tetracycline, the symptom may disappear quickly but the infection being intracellular may persist giving rise to subacute or relapsing disease. So the control of brucellosis, the only thing that you can do is the control about this disease so that you don't get infected of this disease. So prevention here becomes very very important. In the animals, control can occur and you can do this in animals as well as in the humans. In animals, you just need to slaughter those animals, you just need to find out the animals, you just need to test. You just need to test and the slaughter them. And uh, skin tests are available. Those animals infected with brucellosis are slaughtered with full compensation that is paid to the farmers. Second is the vaccination. You can just vaccinate the animals so that they don't, uh, they don't uh, get affected with this brucellosis. Then third is the hygienic measures that you need to take care of. And the animals who are dealing with the, you know, sorry, the humans which are dealing with these animals, they should maintain strict hygienic conditions so that uh, the animals don't get infected. Then in humans, early diagnosis and treatment is required. In uncomplicated cases, the treatment of choice is tetracycline. You give tetracycline 500 milligram every 6 hours for about 3 weeks. This is the treatment. Then what do you need to do? Pasteurization of milk is very important. Then the third part is the protective measures and of course the vaccine is also protective measures and fourth is the vaccination is also available. So this is all about this disease brucellosis.